All right, Hot Squad, what has happened? Talk Talk back in tube, and today I have some very sad news. Hulk Alert news, by the way. Yes, it is now time for breaking news um, in the movie world. So, Sony has just announced last night that Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse Part 1, one of my top three most anticipated movies of the year and a lot of people's anticipated list, has just been announced. It's been delayed again to 2023. Wow. Freaking wow. Yes. It's just been announced that Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse has been, has been delayed from October 7th this year, 2022, to June 2nd, 2023. I have no clue why, so we are going to deep dive, see why the hell Sony delayed Across Spider-Verse Part 1. So, Hot Squad, let's go and see why they delayed it. Let's do this. So, yes, as you see here, I'm in the website. Um, Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse has been bumped to 2023, and the Equalizer 3 announced in Sony release date shakeup. I did not know they were making another Equalizer, by the way. Like, wow, already. Um, I enjoyed, I, first of all, I love the first Equalizer. The second was pretty good, but I love the first Equalizer. So, they're making a trilogy. Somehow, they're making a trilogy. <laughs> so, we get to see Denzel Washington kick ass once again. One of the greatest actors of all time, of course. Kick ass once again. And oh, God, who knows, who just better be the last one. But yes, um... So read the article. I'm gonna go ahead and read the article. See what was the, what's going on, why they delayed it. So here we go. Sony Pictures has delayed its upcoming theatrical release calendar, dating its Marvel Comics adaptation, Madam Web, officially revealing a new entry in Denzel Washington's The Equalizer series and delaying the release of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse to 2023. Damn it. Columbia Pictures and Sony Animation's Across the Spider-Verse, the sequel to 2018's. Acclaimed Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse has been bumped to June 2nd. Okay, make sure I was right about that. June 2nd, 2023. The animation file has been slanted to hit the ears October 7th this year. Additionally, the film has been retitled, dropping its original per parenthetical subtitle, Part 1. Um, Across Spider-Verse Part 2, the already announced threequel of the Spider-Verse series has been also getting a release date to March 29th, 2024. Across Spider-Verse will continue the story of Miles Morales, voiced by Schmidt Moore as he ventures between dimensions lost like Gwen Stacy, voiced by Haley Steinfeld. J Juan Dos Santos, Kent Powers, definitely know the guy he co-directed Soul. And Justin K. Thompson are co-directing with the screenplay from a screenplay by Phil Moore, Phil Lord, Chris Miller, and Dale Callahan, who also wore um Shang-Chi, I believe so. Shang-Chi and the Legends Ten Rings, great movie, MCU movie. Madden Web, a new entry in the studio self brand Sony Pictures Universe of Marvel characters, is now slanted it was slated to the theaters July 7th, 2023, positioned in the middle of next year's summer season. The origin story stars Corner Johnson as this title character, a clairvoyant with the ability to see the spider world. Sydney Sweetney is also stars where H.J. Clarkson will direct a script by Matt Zapka and Burt Sharpless. Oh, God. These two wrote Morbius. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh my god. Alright. Sony has also revealed the Equalizer 3. Uh, as officially revealed, Equalizer 3, another installment in Desert Washington's action franchise. While Washington and series director Antoine Fuqua has both recently teased a follow up to 2018's Equalizer 2. This marks the first official acknowledgement from Sony regarding the project. The Equalizer 3 is set to hit theaters uh, September 1st, 2023. Okay, okay. Additionally, Lion Rock Lion, Crocodile, a live-action CGI musical adaptation of the children's book series of the same name, has been bumped from November 18th, 2022. The Family Friendly now, the Family Friendly film now takes the October 7th release, originally held by Cross Spider-Verse. Hmm. Sean Mendez voiced the um, Eponia singing, singing Crocodile, while Will Speck and Josh Gordon direct and produce. I'm definitely familiar with them. They directed Blaze of Glory, I believe so. And they did recently did Hit Monkey on Hulu, another Marvel um property. Devotion, an aerial career um Korean war epic based on the best selling book of the same name has been officially dated for limited release beginning October first, twenty twenty two. Sony will spend the J D Dealer directed drama on October twenty first before going wide on October twenty eighth. Jonathan Majors, Glenn Powell, Jessica Jackson, Thomas Sadowski, Joe Jonas. Darren Kazasov, Spencer Neville, and Nick Hargrove stars. Well, that's actually in the article here, so 
You can see here, yes, Spider-Verse has been delayed, so <sighs> what a bummer. So, there you have our squad. That was my Huckler news for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 being delayed to next year. And the Equalizer 3 coming out as well and Madam Web and other Sony movies. But really, this is the main topic because of, um, Across Spider-Verse Part 1 has been delayed. But yes, it sucks, man, because I was really hoping this wouldn't come out this year. You know, Into the Spider-Verse was one of the best movies of the last decade and one of the greatest animation films of all time. And Sony's best, Sony Animation's best movie to this day. So, sucks, man. It sucks. You know, it, I, I don't want to say, man. I mean, I just hope, I just really hope they will not pull the plug to put the freaking Netflix like they did for their latest movie with Kevin Hart and William Harrison, The Man in Toronto, which is also Sony movie. So, that put down Netflix. So, I hope the God they're going to do it. Please don't do it, Sony. Don't put it to Netflix. This need to be in theaters. This has to be in theaters. Like, come on. But anyways, that's just my popular news for Cross by Verse Part 1 being delayed. So, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed this coverage, please like, comment, subscribe, share thoughts. Are you disappointed as I am? Um, are you really hoping that they don't put it on Netflix? And what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about this this breaking news? So, anyways, Hot Squad, that is it for today. This is Toss Talk signing off. I will see you guys for more videos. Safe out the sky and have a great day. Goodbye.